During the meditation, I'm setting it up now so you know, I'll invite you to evoke some imagery, if you're comfortable with that, and place your hand on a body part. It might be your heart, it might be your belly, it might be both, it might be crossing, anything that sort of settles perhaps your spirit or make you feel uh, tended to. If you're not comfortable with that, that's fine. One of the techniques I'll share during the med I'll share it now and then during the meditation you'll know what I'm talking about is what I call my equanimity breaths. My equanimity breaths. Remember that old saying, take a deep breath, take a walk around the block. All those things we learned, there was something to it. And these equanimity breaths are three deep breaths with a pause before the out breath. You want to give it a try? You can begin up from your belly. Pause as it gets to your chest. A long out breath to emptiness. If you're not comfortable with this, that's fine. Just go through the meditation with your normal breath. But I like this one because it activates our, um, our vagus nerve, that nerve that runs from the brain all the way down through our body, uh, regulating our uh, autonomic functions, such as the heart rate. It's really a powerful tool, these breaths. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and ring the bell once. We're at the top of the hour now. And uh, I will do the guided meditation. And I will ring it three times at the end uh, to, and you can come back into the room and into the group. So I invite you to find a position that works for you. This doesn't have to look like the Buddha or Kuan Yin. You could be reclining, you could be lying down, standing up. Whatever position you choose, do it with dignity. And as one of our teachers says, upright, but not uptight. It's a sturdiness, it's a strength, and there's also a softness and an openness and a receptivity to allow for spaciousness. So go ahead and assume your position, feeling grounded yet flexible, enough to soften any part of your body as needed. I also want to say, if you're not ready to do this and you're feeling restless, befriend the restlessness. You could wiggle, you could twist, you can rock back and forth. You can find that center with Zazen, the form of uh, meditation I practiced since I was young. You know, sit on the cushion, rock back, find that center. Restlessness is telling us that we're full of energy. We're full of energy and there are ways to release it if you wish. So befriend the restlessness. Go ahead and lower your gaze or close your eyes if you wish, whatever works for you. And I encourage you to tuck your chin in slightly towards your chest. A raised head can encourage thinking. And this session, we're shifting. So I'll go ahead and ring the bell now that you're settled, and we'll get started. I invite you, to, if you wish, to use the equanimity breaths, full breath up from the abdomen, bringing the air up to your chest, pausing if you can, and then a long, slow out breath all the way to emptiness. And do this two more times dropping your shoulders with the out breath. And you can resume your normal breathing position and go back to this anytime you feel restless or your mind wanders. 
as we settle in, feeling our connectedness to the earth, whether we are standing outside or we're inside, bringing our awareness to sensations, sounds in the room or the space you're in, and just sitting with that, maybe just the sound of silence. And then moving the awareness of sensations in the body. We might feel relaxed in some areas and maybe constricted in others. Perhaps a tightness or even a pain for some of us. And just rest for a moment with those sensations. If you wish, I invite you to take some time and do a scan, a body scan. You can move, bringing your awareness to any sensation at the crown, your head, and slowly moving down towards your feet, softening any area that might need some attention. When you're ready, I invite you to shift your attention to your chest, to your heart, this open space that feels tenderness, love, grief, excitement. Just sitting with that openness. Is there a sense of warmth there? Is there a sense of spaciousness? Protectiveness? Just noticing any sensations you might feel there. And softening, softening that space in the chest.
Continue following your breath. Up from the belly into the chest and out, dropping our shoulders. Breathing in, I calm my body. Breathing out, I calm my mind. May I be balanced. In this home I call my body. May I be at peace. If you wish, you can repeat after me. Breathing in, I calm my body. Breathing out, I calm my mind. May I be balanced. May I be at peace. If you're comfortable, bring to mind a situation, a place or experience that you full, feel pulls you off center. Not, nothing traumatic or activating that you won't, we won't be able to manage in this space, but something that you know, either within yourself or in something external, that you feel pulls you off center. Could be a person, bodily condition, an environmental situation. Mm. 
and sit with whatever sensations come up with this tug that pulls you from one side to the other. Where is this showing up? And remembering that wherever that sensation is showing up, whether it's elation or whether it's tightness or constriction, that is our signal can be that we're, we might be off center. Now visualize, I invite you, a person, a place, could be a pet, a surroundings that supports your cultivation of equanimity, that pulls you back to the center. What makes you drop your shoulders and come home to yourself? bringing our awareness to any of the sensations that arise when we think about or feel that sense of balance and calm. Maybe our chest opens up, maybe our breathing gets softer. You may even want to invite in someone who supports your equanimity to sit with you. Moving our attention to models, role models we've had who embodied equanimity just naturally, who were able to temper our extremes that we might have experienced. It could be an ancestor, a friend, a partner, a pet.
and sit with the sensation of that support you've had or have now that supports your balance and your calm. Invite that person or the imagery into this space now. Bringing our awareness to any of the sensations that come for this, with this refuge, that come with this comfort, this support. We'll go into silence for a few minutes and just resting in that space of calm, comfort, reassurance.
keeping our awareness on our breath, the flow in and up and out. Breathing in, I calm my body. Breathing out, I calm my mind. May I be balanced. May I be at peace. May I rest in not knowing. May I be at ease with the arising and passing of all things. May I find ease in stillness.
as we come to the close of our meditation, go ahead, if you wish, back to those equanimity deep breaths, breathing up from the belly, up into the chest, and a long out breath all the way to emptiness. And two more times. <sighs> 